Suppose genocide museum must not be overlooked and it mustn't be looked down on. Because we will have an, it will add another positive positivities to the history of our, of our country. We don't need to limit ourselves to only one genocide museum for every, for every soul lost during those awful years. It's a solemn reminder of who we are as a people. It is easy to forget sometimes. And I say, as the Secretary General of Swapo the other day in her contribution on the same set, let's decide now and build a museum. Why refer this matter to even a committee? And I ask that tough question respectfully. What is the committee going to find out that we don't already know for the last 120 years? Is the committee going to find out that there was a genocide? Is the committee going to find out that somehow, uh, you know, the museum must be built? Or is the committee trying to kick the cane down the road? That for me is unacceptable to the heroes who have died during that era. By building this uh, genocide museum, therefore, in my full support, we will bring dignity to those souls who have fallen in the quest for the long and bitter struggle against the German imperialists. These are the heroes, make no mistake, who gave their first sacrifice. Not only are we not teaching what happened in those events, or in, in, in 1904, 1908 in our schools. No way in meaningful terms do we depict that event. Action speaks louder than words. As part of a marginalized group, but that is a persistent as the descendants of the genocide in Namibia, that merged from struggles against genocide, slave trade, uh, imperialism, apartheid that exacerbated the loss of land and segregation, <coughs> neocolonialism, and <coughs> underdevelopment as historic and historical negative elements. We must be dignified again, and we can only be dignified through this genocide remembrance as we build this museum. 